while it was Glenn Brugge, I should say Claudia and Brooklyn as well, that video when your heart runs out. I'm sorry for forgetting to mention Claudia it's there. Okay. Hello Claudia, how are you doing? So how Hello. did you get together with her to make a video when you, I, I seem to think you've worked with very many people in this business. <laughs> Not many actually, Muriel. I think you'll find it's just the best, just the cream, Tina Turner and uh, Claudia Brooklyn, you know, just the best one. I'm actually in love with Claudia. Uh, which is why I did it. We had an illicit affair just before she got married. And uh, Paul um, Morley directed the video and, and he didn't mind this, this menage a trois. This is an incredible, there's a beautiful shot, a, a, a stupendous kiss that lasts four minutes, uh, where we're just turning around and kissing each other. And Paul was biting his lip a little bit on that one. But... <laughs> Good, well, I'm glad you based your art on uh, sexual attraction. That's one of the most sexual important art, things, sexual isn't art it? Is what we're after in the video. <laughs> Well, what happens to the team now? Because that obviously was the solo thing. I mean, are you still working with them? Yeah, we're right at this very moment. The lads are in Twickenham writing songs without me. <laughs> How exotic. Exotic yeah. Twickenham. Twickenham's a lovely place. Uh, we're just writing for the next album. We're going to go and record it in November. And it'll be out sometime in February, probably. Are you going to do a tour? I mean, No, no live dates for him team team. We don't play live. No, you've never done that, but I, I heard somebody whispering it. You would like it to actually do small pumps and things instead of yeah, I'm gonna venues. Form, I'm, I've been looking through the back of Melody Maker to try and find a band where I can wear dark glasses and go and do the marquee and the uh, Greyhound and the Golden Lion and places like that. Just for a bit of a good sing. A hobby of yours, which is lying on this table, is taking Polaroids wherever you go. And uh, I first discovered this when you were on the tube and you're taking very awful Polaroids of everybody. Now you've been taking them today, and I think. You should talk us through these lens. Yeah, well, this, this is my today's Polaroid collection. They're very important to me. This is one that a friend of mine, Paul McDonald, took uh, of me in Arizona. They mean <laughs> quite a lot to these photographs. Uh, I've just got a wasp in my hair. That's and arty. This is art. That's, a, uh, that's light switches. That's Michael Jackson. That's Alexis Hell opening the show. Now, this is a very good one. This is Portac. Portac crap. Uh, uh, there's Alexis again in my sunglasses. Not bad, eh? That's conceptual. Uh, now, this is Nick Rhodes. This is a Nick Rhodes party uh, <laughs> shot. There's uh, my lookalike, Max. There's me. There's me and Alexa, me with a rubber neck. Strawberry switchblade. Fair enough, I think we get the yes, idea. Thank you. There we go, on those. That's all uh, pretty good stuff. Well. I've there was, the reason she stopped there was I've actually got one of Muriel naked. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty line. I'm trying to have it. The two of the girls you saw in those photographs completely closed those strawberry switchblades.